Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's literally just taken me 20 minutes to find out where the tripod was and Dan had hidden it under the coffee table so that's really helpful, thanks for that Dan. Anyway, uh, this video is about how to stay motivated and to find motivation if you've lost it which I think is a lot easier said than done. So if you are on a journey of any form, whether it's weight loss, weight gain, um, I find it can be really, really hard to stay motivated. What I find hard is there's so many different fitness accounts, health accounts, food accounts, exercise accounts, and when you look at these accounts on Instagram, it genuinely makes you feel like everybody's motivated like 100% of the time, and that's really not the case so I struggle to stay motivated 100% of the time I am definitely um, not an emotional eater but I do let my emotions pay quite a big part in my day-to-day -day life so for example if something bad was to happen in my day it might put me off exercising in the evening I might just think oh, I'm in a bad mood like why should I bother now to exercise um, so that's something I've really had to work to get past. So the first thing that people should be aware of is that in social media, so things like Instagram, Twitter, people may seem like they're motivated 100% of the time when realistically they're not. So I think it really, really is vital that people remember that Instagram and things like that is only a fraction of people's life. It's only what they want you to see. So they might have just been emotionally eating for the last an hour or so, but then they post a workout selfie, which may be three days old, but you're not to know that. You have to go by what they're posting as a true representation of what's happening in their life at that moment in time where the case may be that that's not what's happening at all. And I think that's a big problem and where a lot of people lose motivation because they see all of these people all the time and think, wow, they're doing it all the time. Like, why am I struggling so much? And I find that especially because of the accounts that I follow, quite a lot of them most of the time do seem really, really motivated. But I find the ones that I connect with the most are the ones that say, hold up a sec, like I'm really struggling, can someone help me? Or I haven't eaten really well today, but um, I'm going to make a better choice tomorrow. And I find they're the ones that I relate to. And, and that's how I try to be with my account as well, because I feel like, well, that's what's going on in my day-to-day -day life. Like, there's, I don't exercise every day and I don't eat well every single meal. There are times where I eat a whole bar of Galaxy and I don't exercise for four days because I purely can't be bothered. And I think where it first starts is realising that most people are like that. Most people are human. There may be a very small percentage where people love to exercise and they love to eat healthily and they like to work out. And, and that might just be someone's lifestyle, but I do think whether you're trying to lose weight, it can quite easily feel like you're the only one that's not doing very well and you're the only one that's not feeling very motivated. So I have obviously recently come out of a little, I don't know what you would call it. I guess I've been in a little bubble for two months, like since I came back from holiday. I really struggled to get back into a routine again. And my problem was that this time last year I'd got myself into such a strict routine that I wasn't actually allowing myself to have fun anymore and then don't get me wrong like I felt like I looked really good but really my mentality wasn't healthy at all whereas now <laughs> I went like the opposite end of the scale after I came back from Bali and I just didn't really care about having a routine and just decided to eat what I wanted and wasn't really strict at all so it's really hard to find that balance and, and where you sit in between one extreme to the other and I think um, that's a struggle a lot of us face so yeah I've been in this little bubble for a while now and I really was really struggling to kind of just get back to a routine where I wanted to eat the better foods and I wanted to go out and exercise so I had to try and create some motivation and I feel like that's what people don't understand like motivation doesn't just come around and slap you in the face like it's not just going to appear all of a sudden you have to create it and that was something I learned from Cecilia one of the PTs at Results with Lucy that nobody else is going to motivate you but yourself so if you genuinely are feeling really unhappy in your skin whinging to somebody about it is not going to change it eating more food is not going to change it and sitting on your bum is not going to change it you're the only one that can get off of your bum 
and make those changes and, and make yourself feel better. So I started basically with just looking at my food. Um, I was eating takeaways. Um, I wasn't really prepping meals and I really do love to cook and I'd kind of lost that. Well, I call it my mojo. I've lost, I lost my mojo to cook and I really do like trying new recipes. So to try and create some motivation, I thought, right, okay, I'm gonna look at some new recipes. I'm gonna look at some new meals something that I haven't really cooked before. So so I bought the Joe Wicks Cooking with Friends and Family book and there were so many different recipes in there and there's so much extra information that it genuinely felt like it really gave me like a buzz that I could look at these new recipes and think, oh wow, I haven't tried that before, that would be really nice. And oh, look at that, like never even would have thought about putting those two things together, like let's go for that. I went out of my way to try and find a new way to do things, to try and help myself. And I also found that planning was really helpful just in the first few weeks. So I don't keep a meal plan all the time, um, mainly because things change. Sometimes Dan works late, sometimes I have to go be other places. Like it's just not really practical for us. So we do generally kind of buy food to have a rough idea of what we're going to have in the week. But we don't ever have like a set meal plan. We don't plan breakfast, lunch and dinner. We'll have a rough idea of dinners. but. Lunches is normally leftovers and breakfast is whatever can I can be bothered to make really in the morning. I'm not a massive breakfast person. The first few weeks we sat down together and Dan sat down with me and we planned through some meals and some things that we'd like to try. And I really felt that like doing that together gave me an extra bit of motivation because I didn't feel like I was doing it by myself. I felt like I had somebody else doing it with me. Um, I even got Dan involved in some of the cooking which was really good and um, he enjoyed some of the new recipes as well. So. That was a great way to kind of get my food on track. Um, I do have a really bad sweet tooth, so it was kind of just trying to eat better sweet things. So I can't eat some fruits because of my IBS, so I struggle a bit um, and I'm a bit fussy with fruit. So I was eating apples and things like that at first, but um, the citrus in it sets off my IBS, so I had to stop eating them. But um, it was just little things. Obviously the weather's been really hot, so I got the, the frozen yogurt Yumu ice lollies in. And they're really, really nice. Um, and I don't think they're that bad for you. They're a better option than some of the things I was eating. Um, or you can make your own ice fruit lollies, things like that. But um, as I was trying to get back to grits of things, I was still a bit lazy, so I didn't do that. Um, yeah, it was just trying to be a bit more proactive with things and really like be aware of what I was doing, which are kind of, when I think you've come back from holiday, it's not that easy. You're just so used to going and picking up whatever's around you. Whereas when you're at home, you're, you have to put a bit more forward thinking to what you're actually doing. So exercise wise, um, that's where I struggle most. Like I do find it quite easy to pick back up where I left off with, with food. Um, mainly because like I say, I really do enjoy cooking new recipes, but it just takes me a few days to get back into the rhythm of actually having to cook my own meals, as opposed to kind of being on holiday and having other people cook for you. Exercise wise, I really struggled. I wasn't enjoying what I was doing. And I think when you hit a wall, and you've been doing something for a very long time, sometimes it's not necessarily a bad idea to change what you're doing. So obviously I have been doing Couch to 5K and I've been doing three runs a week and I've looked at it as if I've made appointments with myself and I wouldn't cancel those appointments if it was something to do with work or with friends. And since I've kind of had that mentality, I've been a lot better with it. Um, it also helps that my boyfriend shouts at me if I don't go on a run. <laughs> in the nicest way possible like it doesn't obviously shout me to be horrible but he encourages me he says obviously like look you need to go for a run you said you were going to go for one i'll go for one and the thing i like about running at the moment is it's literally half an hour and it's over and done with and then i'm out of the way like three times a week is quite straightforward as well so yeah that's been really working really really well for me so they were like really the main things that helped me get back on track with fitness and with exercise but I just think in like the grander scheme of things like at the end of the day this is one of my biggest pet peeves if you're not happy with something in your life don't sit around and do nothing about it I just think if you're unhappy with a certain situation so if you're feeling bloated all the time try and work out what's making you bloated keep a food diary if you're not enjoying the type of exercise that you're doing change it to something else mix it up make it fun like I think we put so much pressure on ourselves to to be in this strict regime all the time that that's when we lose our motivation and I think it's really hard to get yourself out of that when you've been kind of stuck in a slump for so long like and I think the minute you start beating yourself up and saying 
oh, everybody else is doing so well, why aren't I doing that well? I think then you kind of get yourself into this hole and you're like, oh, I might as well just stay here now. Like, what's the point in trying to do, trying to do better? So I really think that you have to understand that you really do need to create your own motivation. So like just a few things that I do, if I'm not enjoying exercise, I try and put on some of my favorite songs, blast them really, really loudly. Um, and just try and make it like fun, just like dance around, try not to take things too seriously. Um, if I'm struggling with my food, I try and go back to basics and just try to go back to some simple recipes that I know that I like, that don't really take much effort. One of my favourites is like a, I don't want to call it a skinny carbonara, because I don't like that terminology, but it's kind of like a better for you carbonara and it literally takes like 10 minutes to cook. And those days when I come in from work and I'm like, oh, I could really do with a takeaway. I know that I've got mo normally most of the ingredients in the fridge to make that. And in 10 minutes, I'll be stuffing my face with carbs. So who could complain? I also find with food, it really, really, really helps to be organized and have some backup meals in your freezer. If I am by myself and I make myself chili con carne, I normally buy a big enough pack of mints, I don't know what I'm doing, pack of mints so that it, I can get three or four portions out of it and then I put three in the freezer and just have one for dinner. It also helps for those days where I haven't meal prepped and I don't really want to pay and spend any money going to the shop for lunch so um, it helps just ha grab something out the freezer and just convenience more than anything. I also think like what helps with motivation is surrounding yourself with people that understand what you're trying to achieve and trying to do. So obviously like we all have our friends on like the real world if you know what I mean and um, obviously when you have like an Instagram account and you're friends with other people that have Instagram accounts for health and fitness and weight loss and I think it's very easy to talk to those people more than to talk to your real friends because they're trying to achieve the same things that you are so I'm really lucky I've got two groups of really good girls who um, have all got similar goals to me and if I'm ever struggling I just talk to them about it and I just vent so if I'm having like a really fat day don't like to call myself fat but everybody has a fat day when they're really bloated even more so with IBS I just vent at them and they remind me that I have firmly still got my sassy pants on and there's no need to get upset as I do sometimes I just think it's really important that if you've got the right people around you then they are going to help you achieve your goals I think it's very easy to surround yourself with negative people that might make snide comments or might be encouraging you to eat worse. I know my boyfriend's one of them. If like he says, let's get a takeaway, sometimes I'm like, yeah, yeah, why not? Like, go for it. When really I'm like, I should be like, no, I'm trying to eat better. And most of the time I do have like the, what's the word? I do have the willpower to say no which is good but obviously it's not a bad thing to sometimes say yes I think we have to understand that there needs to be a balance so yeah those are the ways that I stay motivated basically I try and stay organized and I try and remember what I like to eat and what I, and the ways that I like to exercise if I'm not enjoying something I try and change it and um, and if I'm feeling really low I try and talk to people that understand what I'm going through and I just try not to rely on other people to keep me motivated and have to remember that it's something that I have to create myself. Sometimes if I'm struggling it is okay to speak to other people and, and see if they can help me but really motivation starts at home. You have to remember why you're doing this and um, what your goals are and why you want to achieve them and I think really that's the most important thing to remember. So yeah motivation is a hard one. And I think realistically it's something that everyone struggles with and if you think someone's motivated all the time please don't believe them because they're probably not. They're probably struggling just as much as you and I and they just don't speak about it as much as other people do. I'm finally feeling motivated, I'm feeling better in my own skin and I think that anyway just helps keep you motivated. The minute you feel, start to feel better you realise what you're doing is working and, and you want to stick with it. So yeah, I'm feeling much more motivated, really, really happy with what I'm doing in my life at the moment with regards to work, 
with regards to exercise and with regards to my eating as well and just in general like I'm just so much happier than I have been in the last few months and I finally feel like things are starting to work out for me as well so that's always wonderful. So yeah, if you've liked this video please give it a massive thumbs up, um, please make sure you subscribe to my channel as well, there's so much more content coming soon um, and thanks for watching, bye!